The reason we reject the null is because this probability is so low. Let's pretend that the null hypothesis is true, and there's actually not going to be a difference between our new population and our current population parameters. If the null hypothesis is true, what's the probability of getting this sample mean? Write it in terms of a proportion. This is just what you did in Lesson 7. You calculated where the sample mean falls on this distribution of sample means, and then you used the z-table to find the probability greater than that value.